So here's one possible solution. We construct P2 as a temporary particle set. We later set uh, P equals P2. So this is just a temporary set. We then go through all the particles again. And here's the tricky line. We append to list P2 the result of our motion of 0 0.1 and 5.0 applied to the ith particle chosen from the original particle set. So this applies the move command to each of the particles exactly the same way we applied move to the robot motion before. And when we're all done, we reset p equals p2, so we've done the full recursion of applying our motion update to our full particle set. If you've gotten this far, then you've got about half of particle filters implemented. Unfortunately, it's the easy half, but the difficult half isn't that much more difficult.